What do you do if someone says, you know what, I'm a Christian because I'm a good person. I'm a Christian because I've, you know, I've never really done anything wrong. Or I'm a Christian because I live in such and such a country. We know the reality is that people are only Christians because they have admitted that they've sinned against God and accepted Jesus Christ into their life and his death on the cross for their sins. How do we deal with people who you know, think that because they're a good person, they'll go to heaven? Well, we know that is not the case. Well, the first thing is we need to show them they need a saviour. I remember meeting a young man who was exactly like this. He believed because you know, he'd never really done anything wrong, and he went to church, and he said his prayers, that he would go to heaven. Well, we need to show them that they need a saviour. Galatians 3 verse 10 is a great verse to bring them to. But those who depend on the law to make them right with God are under his curse. For the scriptures say, cursed is everyone who does not observe and obey all the commands that are written in God's book of the law. You see, the reality is, is that unless we have kept every single command before God, you know, we're sinful. And the reality is, is that Romans 3 says that all have sinned and fall short of God's glorious standard. You see, none of us, none of us have lived a perfect life. We've all said, you know, God, we want your good gifts, we don't want you. And you see, the reality is, is that we need to receive the gift of eternal life. Ephesians 2 verse 8 says, For it is by grace you have been saved, through faith, and it is not from yourselves, it is the gift of God. You see, it's not about our performance. It is about Jesus' performance on the cross. He has died for us. And that's the reason that we can have eternal life. It's a total free gift. Completely free. Often when I speak to people, I say, if you were to die tonight and go to heaven, and God was to ask you, why should I let you in? What would you say? And if someone says, you know, because I'm a good person, or because I went to church, or I read my Bible, I said my prayers, if there's anything to do with their performance, they have misunderstood the fact that it is a total free gift when we come to know Jesus Christ. It's nothing to do with us and all to do with Jesus dying for us. And you see, we need to show them that they need a saviour, that actually they've sinned and they need to receive Jesus. That actually, when they get to heaven, they need to say, Jesus died for me and that's the only reason that I should be here. You see, this is the heart of the God of the Bible. We need to show them that they need a saviour. But some people might come up with the objection. They might say, you know what? I believe that a good God can't damn anyone. Well then, bring someone to Luke 13, verse 3. Jesus said this, I tell you no, but unless you too repent, you too will all perish. You see, the most loving man that ever lived talked about hell more than anyone else in the Bible. He talks about it six times because he loved people and it's a real place. And you see, people need to know that if they turn their back on God, if they don't want God in this life, then he will respect that decision in the next life. If they say, Jesus, I don't want a relationship with you, he'll respect that. And the punishment for you know, saying, God, I don't want you, I don't want a relationship with you, is separation from him and hell in the next life. And we need to be you know, clear with people about that clear that they need God, that they need Jesus Christ. And you see, the reality is, is that when people understand that this message is not pull your socks up and be a bit be a good person, but it's actually that God loves you and that he has died for you, he's died for your sins, that they can see that it is the most amazing message in the world. Now, some people might come in with, you know, an objection. They might say, you know what? I feel like I should be in heaven. Well, I'd take someone to John 3.36 if that was the case. Because in John 3.36 we hear that anyone who believes in God's Son has eternal life. Anyone who does not obey the Son will never experience eternal life because God's wrath, God's anger remains on them. You see, the reality is, is that we need, we need to turn to Jesus. And it is not about feelings, it is about facts. Once we do that and accept him, we will receive eternal life. Will you do that today if you don't know Jesus? Or if you do, will you share this amazing message, this gift with your friends? And share it you know, with passion because it is the greatest news in the world. 
It's the message that freed you for the whole of eternity. And it's the message that can free our friends too.